Shay, did you uh, did you you know we lost Gary Rosington this yeah. weekend? Yeah, uh, he was the last that. surviving member of I Leonard Skinner. Mm. Mm. He survived the plane crash. Mm. Survived a very brutal car accident mm, back car in, accident back in the day. I believe 1977, 76. Yeah, yeah. Rock and roll life. Rock and roll life. Yeah, that was, uh, they wrote that well, song, that smell. He was the last oh, was uh, member of the band, the, yeah, the original I member. That happened. About Rosman. And you know, the guy with, uh, and I can't think of his name right offhand. That went to Blackfoot, came and played. You know, he was he was in Skinner in the beginning, and he didn't not very long. And he went to uh, went to Blackfoot. Um, a lot of people don't understand about Skinner was uh, the guy that actually got Skinner off the ground. Was the man who discovered them in the, yeah, the, the nightclub in Atlanta, you're Georgia? About Ricky Matlock. By the name of Al Cooper. Ricky Matlock. I started to say Alan Collins, but then he sent it now for you young Collins, people, it's not Alice Matlock, Cooper. It it's Al K with a K, K double O P E R. Al Cooper. Look it up on Google. Google him. The man has. They call him the the Forrest Gump of rock and roll because he's been around so long, and he's played almost on every track back in the, the the 70s and 80s and 60s even the 60s he wrote the song um this diamond ring which was a number one hit back in uh, 65 i believe 64 gary lewis and the playboy 64 man 64 he did he played he played with bob dylan quite a few times even after that yeah, he was. He did the rolling. He did the rolling like a Rolling Stone man. He did the uh, organ part on that. It was supposed to be even be in the studio. Yeah. Al Cooper got Leonard Skinner their first huge gig in San Francisco at the Cow Palace with the Who. They opened the Who for the simple fact that he knew Pete Townsend. He met Pete Townsend. And Pete Townsend. You know, it's all. About, I always say this. My my favorite saying is, "It's all about timing on anything, anything you it do." It is, man. It Just is. the timing was Pete Townsend and the band always was looking for time. a a, always. a startup. I use that in gambling a lot lead, too. Uh, opening act <laughs> for the Cow Palace. <laughs> I do, man. And he just happened to see Al Cooper on the street yeah. out there with, and Al Al had Skinner going to record. Uh, there was in L.A. getting ready to record uh, Second Helping. And he asked Al, he said, do you know a band that can open for us at the Cow Palace? Al said, yes, I do. Matter of fact. So, as they say, the rest is history. And I, and I don't think Al gets enough credit for that. But anyway. No, man. He went on he to don't. do good Al, things. And Al I think it was some bad blood there at the end. But, um, He's the icon. He's the man. He's the man. As in rock and roll, that's the way it goes. Is in wrestling also. Yeah, hell, who would have figured he'd outlived all of them? He's he's probably older than all of them too. And we're our our serious heel appeal. We've been trying to do some wrestling shows on. Um, on the the BBB, the Big Bad Barbie. We try to do them probably when Barbie's not on, going to be on here. She's out of the country right now, so she's not. She's a little occupied. So it's just Shade and I. Shade is in Las Vegas. And I'm, I'm in Vegas losing my ass. I've been on the road, just got off the yeah. road, back back here in my, my, my dungeon. Looks like you're in your bunker hideout, um, ain't you? 
doing my, my stuff here. Then? Um, Shade, what did you think of the the Dave LaGreca, Bully Ray, Tommy Dreamer set up there at No Surrender on Impact? It was back, uh, when was that? A couple of weeks ago. Well, I think it was what's good. Your, what's your uh, thoughts about it? They could have done a lot better job at some of that, I think, uh, leading up to it there. Uh, and I, I know that Dave probably had never been in the ring before he says it's what he admitted. He said he hadn't yeah. been. Uh, I think it was mm -hmm. something they, they've been wanting to do mm -hmm. for a while, but it didn't come off, I don't think, like they, they he didn't get the pop, I don't think they wanted to. Yeah. Just to be honest. I, I agree. I it agree. just seemed It could have been a little me. better. They they could have set that up a little bit bit better. And you know, we're critiquing them because I mean that's what they do on their show to to some of the the wrestling to uh, Raw and, and SmackDown and, and Dynamite and Rampage. They critique what they should have done, you know, and Billy Ray, you know, I've I've yeah, I've I've got some impressions, but I'm I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Come today. on, it's him. I know you've been working. I know you've been working on. Well, him. you know you they at, should have. You... No, I'm not gonna do that. Or I'm not gonna do Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's real laid back. I like. I love Tommy. Tommy's Tommy's great. Great guy. All them guys are great. I love Dave. Welcome. I can't do his New Jersey thing though. I, I, you know. Me being from the South, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. I'm working on it though. I am working on it. <laughs> oh, I know you do. You get a couple glasses of wine, Chardonnay or Merlot, Danny. I know you do. It could have been better. You know, I don't know the, the deal with the coffee. It, I think they should have actually maybe shown how hot the coffee was. Maybe show it, maybe steaming just a little bit. Other than, you know, it could have been iced coffee. For all for all we know, and it could have been iced coffee. They could have went by Starbucks before they showed up with iced coffee, because coffee's not just hot now anymore. Yeah, yeah, it it's is. it's just all different flavors and all different. Um, I think it brands. I think it was hot. Heat and and the because you know, he did get he did get temperature some. and all that. He did get some burns on his face. Tommy did. And I don't know. That might have been that might have been work too. I don't know. Yeah. 